Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of South by Southeast. Today we are in a very special location. We are at 1932 Calumet Avenue in Whiting, Indiana at Isabella's and we are with Xavier who is the owner of Isabella's here. So everybody else introduce yourself as well. My name is also Xavier, his son. <laughs> this is Isabella herself. And I'm her mom, Emily. And I'm the stepdad, Samuel. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us today. We want to talk about this amazing place that I don't know if anybody knew about. I just barely found out about it maybe a couple months ago. So tell us a little bit about what Isabella's is and how it came to be, Xavier. Well, we, um, I first started working at uh, Giacos Pizza. Okay. What I learned it was on 1983, 84. I don't really remember, but it was that year. It's okay. It's around that time. And, yes. And it was a good experience. Um, I started uh, making pizzas. Okay. And that's how I learned how to make the stuffed pizza. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what everybody is has been talking about, the stuffed pizza. So tell me a little bit about what made you name this place Isabella's. Isabella, it's my granddaughter. <laughs> this. The little what, shy one. Not, it's okay. Yes. Just pretend like she's we're not here. <laughs> yes. <and> <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, she has a uh, Italian blood on it. <laughs> so, she's a beautiful girl. Aww. So that's why I say you know I will take her name and name name the pizza Isabella. Okay. So Isabella, what is your favorite pizza here? Olives and cheese? That sounds really good. Have you ever helped your uh, grandpa make any of the pizzas here? No? Maybe someday. Will you help make our pizza, remember? Tell us maybe, is there another location of this pizza as well? No, uh, I have another location here in uh, East Chicago. The oh, okay. 19, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> 4912 Indianapolis Boulevard in East Chicago, Indiana. Okay. And do you sell pretty much the same things there as you do here? Yes, everything is uh, the same. same okay. Menu. Can you tell me a little bit about what made you start making pizza? What drove you to make the delicious pizza that we have today? Well, we have, uh, you know, I was just working and and like every, every I'd say, uh, every human, we have dreams, dreams. Of and, course. And I say, you know, let's open one, see what happens. and. I, I'm doing good. We're doing good. That's good. Doing good. So tell me a little bit about your specials that you have all the time. I know that we have a medium combo, large combos. What's the most popular combo that you have going on? The most uh, we sell is the uh, giant combo, which is the 18-inch pizza. Oh yeah, I've heard about those. Piece of chicken. <laughs> comes with the pop and french fries. Uh, when I started at the beginning, uh, nobody will sell um, all together like pizza, chicken, fries, pop. So I started doing it and it, it became a pretty good sell. Okay, so that's your that's your drive into here, I guess. Um, what do you guys think about the business and where it is and how it's impacted you with Isabella? Well, I mean, it's, it's been a really big deal, especially because this Isabella's, you know, our little girl. You know, it's really cool that he decided to name it Isabella's. Um, I helped run it for a little while. Okay. Um, and that was really cool. Um, but it's it's a special place because it's, you know, it's, it'll always be something that's, you know, that her grandfather gave to her. You know, right. Because it's her name and her place or whatever. So that's, right. It's really cool. Oh. Oh, yeah. but, it, no, it was really cool, you know, just to have it. Um, have something that will always be here. So, I mean, it's just really special, and it really does show how much um, he cares for her, you know? Right. It's, it's it's just really sweet. It means a lot to us. feel the same. <laughs> so, Xavier, tell me a little bit about the actual pizzas. I know that you were saying that you have fresh ingredients, so where do you get everything from? We get it here at the Strack or, um, or uh, the fruit store. Okay. Everything is, get, uh, we get it everything around here. Okay. Yeah, everything is local. And what about the dough? Because that dough, dough is so delicious. Every time I, well, 
I can't say every time because I've only had it one time so far. But the dough is really, really good. The dough, we make it fresh. Okay. We make it fresh. We make it ourselves, the sauce. We cut the cheese. <gasps> cut the cheese. Shred the cheese so. <laughs> um, Okay, so tell me about making the pizzas. Do you always make the pizzas yourself, or do you have somebody trained to help you do all of the work? Everybody works. Okay. Everybody works. Everybody makes pizzas. Okay, so did you tell them your secret way of making Giapo's pizza? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's okay, but I'm pretty sure people are wondering. Well, some, <laughs> there are some recipes that you got to keep yourself. <laughs> okay, so Xavier, what are your hours here? Uh, we're open at 2 o'clock in the, in the afternoon Okay. to 11 p.m. Okay, is that Monday through Sunday? Sunday. Is there anything else you want to say, Xavier? Um, what I wanted to say is that the pizza that we make, the stuffed pizza, is the closest that we could make uh, the taste from Giapos. That's our, it's my uh, recipe, but that's the closest taste that we have from, from Giapos. So it's inspired by Giapos recipes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's your own take on what Giapos is to you. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is very delicious pizza, so make sure to come and place your order at Isabella's at 1932 Calumet Avenue in Whiting, Indiana. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>